Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to be taking a look at the Palomino HS2901. This camper will work on a three quarter ton or one ton truck with a six and a half or an eight foot bed. As we get started on the outside, you'll notice we have the cool gray, high gloss exterior gel coated fiberglass. This camper will have the four power jacks all the way around with a remote that will run them all at the same time or each leg individually. The Max Series bumper with the step on it already. There is storage integrated in the bumper. We have your full size entrance door that will also have a window that is built into the door with a uh, shade here so you can close that at nighttime for privacy. Full size screen door, oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. We have a motion sensor porch light here, right above that with the black box that's pre-wired for an observation camera that will allow you to see behind you the entire time while traveling down the road. We have the, port, the back awning that is already extended here with the white LED light. I'd also like to point out that the awning legs are tucked at the end of the awning here and there are brackets on the camper, which I will show you on the other side awning, but you can adjust the pitch of the awning as well. Roof ladder for maintenance purposes so you can get up to maintain your caulk. And then down below in the storage compartment is where your gray and black handles are so you can drain the grain and black, excuse me, drain the gray and black tank there. We have your 30 pound LP tank bottle that will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have your outside shower with hot and cold water. It's a coil hose sprayer that pulls out. And then right down below here is gonna be the dump station. So that's where you would attach your sewer hose to drain your tanks. This is a 30 amp unit. It'll come with a 25 foot detachable power, power cord. We have your cable and satellite connections here. So if you're at a campground that offers that, you simply tap right in. 110 outlets on the outside. Up top, we have your range vent, so that will vent right to the outside. It is an on-demand water heater, so it's gas only, but it's only using gas when you're running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. With your water fill station, we have the fresh water on the left-hand side. So if you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking, you simply fill up your water tank, turn on the water pump and use that water. Or we have the city water. So if you're at a campground or your house, you just hook up the water hose and that will pressurize the lines for you. As we move around up front here, we have the red key. That is your 12 volt cutoff switch. You can kill all 12 volt power to the battery. We have a holder here for your seven way cord. So if you unplug that, you can just hang it right here. This is a direct line to the battery. So you can add a portable solar panel or a battery charger here. And the camper itself will come with a double sided seven way male cord. It plugs in right here. It'll run all the way down the back and plug into the back of your truck. And that's what will give power to the camper while traveling. If you're going to be stopped overnight or for a couple days, I'd recommend unhooking this or unplugging it here. That way, if your battery dies on the camper, it does not drain your truck battery. As we move around to the front end, you'll notice the fiberglass cap. It has the uh, Rhino liner on the outside here with the windshield built into it. The Palominos are all aluminum frame, laminated as well with the deep tinted frameless windows. We have this awning set up and we have the legs coming back to the camper to show you how that looks and you can adjust the pitch on both arms here. We have outside speakers that light up blue and also with the white LED light underneath this awning as well. We have your refrigerator vent, furnace vent, and then last but not least, if you have a short bed truck, you can actually close this back section off for more storage. And that concludes the outside walkthrough of our Palomino HS2901. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have great storage over here on the right hand side. Very large fridge freezer combo with separate doors. We have your furnace underneath the fridge as well as an extra storage compartment. And your bathroom is actually right on the left hand side as you walk in. Your tanks are heated and enclosed and that is gonna be right behind that carpeted piece there is actually where all of your holding tanks will sit. In the dinette, you'll notice with the pictures on our website that there's extra storage underneath that seat right there. And they also have modified it that if you take the table off, you can pull out a section underneath and there is an extra cushion that comes with it. It'll be the full width of the dinette and that will turn into another sleeping area for you. Um, it is rather large though as it angles around. So you can see lots of people here. Has a really nice picture window right behind it. Let in lots of light there. Up top, we have your air conditioner, which is roof mounted. You can see the two black speakers up top here on the far left and far right hand side. And there's also two speakers 
right up above the bed as well. Um, also on the ceiling up above the bed, we have the Max Air vent fan. That is a multi-speed vent fan. Does a great job exhausting the humidity and heat out of here and letting lots of air flow through. We have your hanging storage cabinet here. I will open up this door for you so you can see the hanging rod up top and also the bottom will lift up for extra storage. And you will see that with our pictures online as well. Foot locker storage on this side of the bed as well as a window. Up in front of the bed, we have your windshield that has the uh, blind as well, so you can darken that out. We have 110 outlets and 12 volt charge ports on both sides, as well as your speakers and reading lights up there. Another window on this side of the bed with more storage. We have your 12 volt TV that is on a swivel mount bracket, so you can pull it out and either face it towards the bed or towards the dinette. We have your stereo right down below, which is Bluetooth and also AM FM. And it's also a DVD player, so you can play your DVDs right through that CD player as well. The mattress itself is an actual residential size queen. It is 60 by 80. Over in the kitchen area, we have your cabinets up top. Microwave with your range vent that will vent to the outside. Nice backsplash, kitchen window, three burner stove with the oven. And we do have a storage drawer down below, underneath the sink as well. And with the sink, we have the very large single bowl sink here. It has this cover that comes with it. It is the high rise faucet, and it also comes with your pull out sprayer here. There is a pantry just off to the side of the kitchen area here. And I'll go ahead and open this up to show you. You can use this as hanging storage if you'd like, or you'll notice there's adjustable shelves in here, so you can make it a pantry as well. There's your power cord and your seven way cord for your lights when it is actually on your truck. More drawers down below. Underneath those drawers are your breakers and fuses. And then we have your carbon monoxide detector. Up top here, uh, we have your main control panel. So you can check how full or empty your tanks are, turn on your 12 volt tank heaters, water pump, your lights, uh, run your awnings in and out. Down below on the bottom right hand side is the thermostat for your furnace. And the bottom left hand side will be the thermostat for your on-demand water heater. You can turn that on and off there and regulate the temperature as well. Here's a look at the refrigerator, which is gas and electric. And again, with the storage in the back, We'll come back here and take a look at the bathroom. This is on a sliding door. So we'll go ahead and slide this open. There is the latch as well as a magnet here to help keep the door shut. Down below you have the in the wet bath here, the toilet. That Palomino base down there is actually a plastic mat that can be removed. So that way if someone just showered, you could put that in here to keep your feet dry. Uh, 110 outlets, and then we have some dry storage for your toiletries in that cabinet right there. We have the sink area, very large countertop. We have a medicine cabinet up above. And then we also have your vent with an extra light up top here. We have a skylight up above. And then here is a look at the shower. And you'll notice that that shower head actually connects to the sink as well. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Palomino HS2901. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.